Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. I hope you are having a good week. Isn't that right, Kaiser? He's wanting a little morning love this morning. Beautiful little kitty. Um, but anyway, like I said, I hope you're having a good week. Um, I feel like there's something in the air. Uh, kind of had a headache and stomach ache and stuff off and on. So um, anyway, trying to battle that. Um, but anyway, keep well. Um, you know, it is getting to be flu season. It is getting to be change of the weather. I think that has something to do with it too. Um, try to keep well and take care of you. My thought today is on, are you thriving or are you just surviving? You know, um, just like the seasons change, sometimes we ourselves change uh, accordingly. And, you know, I know as the holidays come on, a lot of people, um, and with time change coming up here, you know, two, three weeks, you know, um, darker in the mornings, you know, people go through things uh, physiologically, um, uh, emotionally, um, you know, all different times of the, of the year, the weather, the time change, all of that affects people differently and can take a toll on, on people. Uh, I, I personally like the time change because I'm a morning person as a rule, maybe not today, but I'm a morning person as a rule and like to get up and be able to see my horse in, in driving in the morning and all that, it, it really helps to get me started, so to speak. But most people aren't like that. Most people don't like the time change. And, um, you know, sometimes in life, you know, whenever things uh, are building up and, and there's changing in the seasons, the holidays come on, uh, people start getting freaked out about that and about finances and oh my gosh I've got you know 25 nieces and nephews to buy for you know my parents my brothers you know people start freaking out about money my point is is that sometimes you feel like with all the outside circumstances in in whether it's you internally or just things that are coming up and, and life changes throughout the year and things that happen uh, you know, normalcy life itself, that we sometimes feel like we're just surviving. We're just getting through it. You know, um, you know, work, my work this time of year, is, is it gets crazy towards the end of the year. Everybody wants to close deals and everything else. You know, and so there's all kind of things that affect us, whether it's externally, internally, weather, time change, um, light, dark, the whole thing, um, all year round, different things. And sometimes all we feel like we can do is just get through that day, get through the moment, get through that time, get through that quarter, get through that season, uh, whatever it might be. And so we just sometimes focus ourselves on, oh my gosh, if I could just survive it, get through to five o'clock, if I could just survive uh, this head cold that I've got to take three more, you know, pills that I've been prescribed, whatever it might be. But, you know, um, we need to do more than just try to survive. We need to try to thrive. We need to try to do things that are going to keep our emotions up. Um, not, you know, and, and I know, believe me, I truly understand that a lot of times that's all you really feel like doing is surviving. You know, um, I've had it more than my share of many medical situations in my past, you know, et cetera, from that alone. But, you know, life does get crazy, and we have to see the glass half full. And so many times it is attitude. You know, if you start telling yourself and you're willing yourself that you're sick or that you're going to be down or that you're going to let this situation affect you or, you know, oh, well, you know, woe is me, then, yeah, all you're thinking about is trying to get through is surviving. And there's not anything wrong with just trying to survive, but when you get into that mindset, you're training or tri triggering yourself that you're just doing enough to get through that moment. And again, I truly believe that there are certain things that are chronic. And I'm not just talking pains. I mean, certain things are chronic that we could just, we, we have to tell ourselves, Lord, please help me just get through this moment. But 
when we can, we ought to try to do uh, the, uh, go the extra mile to do a little more, to do a little more than what we, for our own self, for our own uh, peace of mind, um, to to thrive, to to try to, um, as I said, faith it till you make it. It's faith, not faith. Actually, it's faith it till you make it. On getting through these hurdles in life, getting through this season, getting through the time change, getting through having a cold, getting through, um, you know, the year-end quarter of work or whatever it might be. Um, you know, again, all we really have is today. We are not promised tomorrow, and, you know, we have to make the most of it. And, again, there's nothing wrong with us, you know, when you're sick, you're sick or whatever, you know, or whatever the circumstance might be. But we have to train our thoughts and minds and psyche that it's not about just getting by for the most part. Yes, there are times that that's what exactly what we need to do and just pray to get through that moment, pray to get through, pray through the pain, whatever. And again, I'm not minimizing that because if anybody knows that, I do, um, truly. But, but it, you can be really... Um, you can make the mistake of just telling yourself that for so long that that's all you expect of yourself is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> we have to expect more from ourselves in order to have better outcomes for ourselves. It's real easy to get into uh, habitual thoughts that I'm just going to get through this moment. I'm just going to get through this week. I'm having a bad week at work or whatever it might be or, you know, uh, just a myriad of things. And we've got to train ourselves to not just put ourselves in a mindset that that's all that you really care to to be uh, improving upon. Uh, you know, to, to, to go the extra mile, to try to think about things that are going to better you, maybe better environment, better a circumstance, better a relationship, better a friendship, better a family dynamic, better a work environment, whatever it might be. And of course that means you have to pace yourself. Of course that means you need to take it to prayer. Of course that means that you need to strive to um, think outside of the box, so to speak. And yes, that means you got to stay in today. But yes, plan for tomorrow and not get up all worried about what it should have could have and things that did not happen in the past and whatnot. So do you want to just survive as a rule, or do you want to thrive? Um, you know, survival is something that kicks in whenever we don't, when we are at our peak of worst. Survival, to me, is when all else fails, that's all you can do, that you just want to survive something. And again, I'm not minimizing that, but but we need to get ourselves out of the mindset that that's all you know, we need to not trick our minds into thinking that that's as good as it's going to get and that's all we need to do is survive. Because survive, then you become, a, you are a victim, honestly. When you are surviving something, you are, you are almost putting yourself in a victim mentality that I, I survived this, I survived that. Um, and we all are, in a sense, are survivors. Every day we get up, we are surviving. But we need to push ourselves to thriving, to becoming our best, to having a better outlook on life, to, to tell ourselves that attitude is everything. And if you tell yourself good thoughts and see your glass has to half full, that more things are going to happen in your life. You're going to, the law of attraction, you're going to draw in more, more the right kind of people. You're not just surviving that day and getting through whatever, that you're not becoming a victim, that you're taking control back of your life and you're giving it to God, whatever that is bigger than you, and getting through your day, week, season, reason, whatever, because you are going to become your best. You are going to seek better uh, uh, outcomes for yourself in what are the, whatever that may mean. And so you're, therefore you're going to thrive and not be a victim. You're not going to go in that victim, victim mentality and not just survive whatever is handed to you because that's what you have to do. As a rule, as a rule. So that's my thought today is that, bottom line, there's a time and place to be a survivor, and there's a big, 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 big opportunity to be a thriver. And it's up to you to choose what you're going to do. And 
I hope you can decipher what I've talked about in breaking it down. Um, you know, I'm not talking about getting through the day of you having to take five pills for pain. That kind of situation, yes, you have to try to survive, and you all obviously have to pray about it and ask God to take your pain or whatever it might be. But for the bigger aspect of things, we want to try to thrive. We want to try to become our best. We want to try to set goals that are realistic, but that we are going to keep at it and keep applying ourselves to becoming our best or getting those outcomes that we that our hearts desire. And to thrive and allow that energy to to, to stand out for everyone to see that maybe other people will want to get on board and it'll help them in their own walks of life. So anyway, that's my thought. I hope you have a great day. Um, be sure to take plenty of echinacea and vitamin C and all these things because the weather is changing. It does affect everybody. Uh, there is something in the air, I think. And it is flu season, so be sure to be safe and be good to you. If, you're not, if you don't take care of yourself, um, nobody else can. So anyway, talk to you soon. Enjoy the, your day. Keep looking up. Keep positive. Keep thriving. Talk at you later.